Okay, we are in business. Best way to put it. Um, I really don't need these two uh, viewports now, I would say, for the editing. Um, as you can say, I changed a couple things from last time. I uh, made sure everything's attached properly and I gave it the whole, uh, the whole like spine going on along with it and the uh, arms. I'll go over how I did that. I mean, it's thankfully not too difficult. I mean, it's an edit mode. I added uh, the shift A, a new bone, which delete that. <laughs> And then I moved it all into position and I extruded from each end all the way out to here. Um, I was using the basic rig, the basic armature rig, the human meta rig here for uh, comparison on some of the things. Uh, if you don't have it activated because you do have to turn it on, you go into user preferences, add-ons, uh, just type in rig and turn on uh, rigify rigging right here. I just don't like all of how it is now, and I'm not even doing a whole body, so. That was not big of a deal. When I got to the end here, as you have I noticed that the uh, rest of the hand is not attached, so. Like with the bone here, you gotta go over to the bone tab and uh, make sure that you parent it. To whatever you name this one here, which I named it, uh, uh, hand left. Uh, yeah, index, uh, one, two, and three with the L on it. They specifically have an L dot L at the end because when you're done setting that all up, you gotta select, uh, this entire side here. And go to armature and just tell it to uh, symmetrize. Uh, let me turn on uh, the display. You know, the shout cast, screencast. <laughs> so when you symmetrize it, it'll swap it over and it just yeah, adds the dot R instead. So you got both sides made perfectly for it. I also went ahead and uh, reapplied. The modifier to begin with the head so if I like select here and I go to pose mode and I, like rotate on Y you can see it rotates the eyes and things aren't set up there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first this might be a kind of a boring one you could say <clears throat> I should delete all the old stuff oh it's not in the right place Eyes are not in the right place. But let me fix that. <laughs> Alright, I guess I do need the other viewport open so I can go to rendered. Oh, yeah, the eyes are not in the right place at all. I was messing around earlier trying to get things set up, and oh my goodness, something went wonky completely wrong. I'll get into that in a little bit as well. But let me just get this, uh,. Set up. Um. Well, that's not what I want to do then. Um, did I name it right? Mm, come on, what's the full name of this? Yeah, bones. All right, yeah. That's not gonna work exactly because uh, let's just see here. If I do that. It <laughs> I have no clue what it did with her eyes. <laughs> So I'm going to have to add a, the armature to her specifically as well. Um, let's go to weight paint. <laughs> Stares directly into your soul. Fire. I want to make sure I see through so I get this all red. <laughs> the devil eyes. <laughs> so now... When I go to pose on here, it should work. Let's cross fingers. Yeah, it works. I have to do the with the rest of it as well, obviously. Oh, 
I should pop out my chat. But give me a second. So I can actually see when people see something instead of having to strain my neck looking all the way over trying to see if somebody says anything at all. That would just be bad. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Her ears are a little small. That's unfortunately going to be what it's going to be for her. Because I just kind of messed up on this other character I'm working on. I'm doing so much more with, but... This is what it is right now. Um, same for you. Let's see. Oh, I can, should be able to just apply these now. Apply, apply. Add. Armature. Bones. Let's hit apply, let's hit apply. Save here, actually. Let's add these together, so. Control J. There's no reason why they should be separated. Which is there. Again, weight paint. Oh, let's make sure it'll show it all the way through. Select the object and select here. Or Y. So, yay, that looks good. Let's unhide the hair. Hey, okay, where's her hair? One time I somehow lost her hair. No. Oh. <laughs> there it is. I was gonna be flipping annoyed. I was like, did I somehow delete her hair and not notice? Oh, uh, come on. Wait, paint. Um. There we go. I had to uh, earlier turn off X mirror and topology. I'll get to that in just a minute. Because I hope this uh, will help someone else to understand what had happened. Because, oh my goodness, it was not cool at all. Alright, so. This is done. Yay. Let's hide that wire there. Leave the wire on there. The wire wasn't on for her eyebrows, but they were on for her eyes. We can turn that off. Give me the eyebrows. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Give me a second, I forgot to post this in uh, Discord. Let's see. I gotta change that, that's not even... Even. Oh, nice, okay. That's all, uh, started up. I just realized... Actually, did I have it up there? I had one up there. <sighs> Chapstick. Because that's definitely needed for this. Alright, right. Now, why did I turn topology off? Uh, mirror X mirror off and topology off. Oh my goodness, that was the weirdest thing ever that happened to me. Okay, so I'm gonna select here, go into weight paint, and you can see how 
the whole face looks here. It's uh, well, it's all specifically set up, so I can even rotate it while in weight paint. So you can see how it all interacts with each other. Um, I'm gonna have to do more modifying emphasis later, but when I had X mirror on and topology mirror, and I would weight paint her nose, it would do it down the middle of her back too. So like around here. So when I moved her face around and stuff, her whole back would move. Then when I would remove it from her back, her nose would be stuck in place and not moving with the entire uh, body and whatnot. So that was extremely strange. So I got that all fixed up and such. It was really, really weird. So I'm probably gonna turn back on X mirror, of course. So we can start getting the rest set up properly. Like I'm gonna move her arms and such so I can uh, start to see how it exactly affects. Like here, it's a little off as you can see because uh, your arm doesn't go like that. Um, I will turn on X mirror though and on topology again. And hopefully the issue I had before is not going to pop up anywhere else. Here I'm gonna have to subtract some. Let's turn the strength down. Multiply, no, not multiply, um mix. Oh, wrong way. Strength down, weight down. Yeah, that's going the wrong way. Oh. So you have to hold down shift? No! <laughs> I'm sure I'll do anything? No, I hope it would be... Minimize it the other way. Now, for here, I could do it for... Have it add some. There, it didn't add anything, to. This is gonna be kind of boring, as you might guess from all this. Okay, this is gonna be add and shrink down. Oh, that's going the wrong way with that. I was hoping to go do it the other way. So if I subtract, it'll bring it up more? Apparently. But I want the shoulder up is the problem. Oh, okay. Alright, what's the draw going to do exactly? Oh, it's just kind of cut right through it. Add. Like I said, this is going to be really, really... Should I try something? Go back. For all that was done, well... That should be together, so mix there. Like when you move your shoulder up, I'm just checking. It's like your whole collarbone section here, which I have there, which I have right here, doesn't exactly move, so. You go here. I'm gonna have to subtract from here, kind of, I think. Let me just save here, just in case. Yeah, this is gonna take a while, <laughs> unfortunately. This is what my streams are gonna be coming down to for the time being. This is just gonna take time to uh, get right. So here should be add. Mix it better with each other, but it's gotta go. No, that's gotta be add. Hmm. 
I'm trying to figure out how to get it so that this entire section here moves up with the arm. Maybe I just have that out too far too. That's part of it, I think. What if I go into edit mode? I don't want it for that, I want it for this. I bring this in more instead. Oh, that was bad because I forgot to grab it from here. Pull that in. And up some. Now, let's see how it messes with it in pose mode, you could say. I'm gonna have to re-weight. It's either I'd have to just re-weight all the automatic weights and then redo the face, or I continue on from where it is. Right now I'm gonna continue on from where it is. And uh modify it as such. Oh, duh. Oh wait, it's because that's not in pose mode. Alright, so when you switch back and forth, if you don't have that in pose mode, they won't let you select it from here. So there we go. Now it's in pose mode. Grab here, subtract here. Yeah, this is gonna be really wonky to work. I'm gonna have to put it like this to see where it's going. This whole section here needs to move along with it, but if I select here. Whoa! Not what I want to do! Not what I want to do! Amazing how just that little bit can really affect it. All right, it's back to where it was. Mix. Pushing it down. Yeah, this is all off to me. I might have to redo this whole section here, but that's perfectly fine. I end up having to re rig it before Wednesday. Then. <laughs> that's what I have to do. Yeah. All right. This is definitely going to take time. What if I tell it to normalize all? Or auto normalize? Ah. Alright, not exactly how I mean it. But okay. Hmm. 
Adding goes the wrong way. If I do that, that's what it's doing. It's way off. I subtract here. But here, subtraction. Because I need that spot to go in more right here. I was thinking I need to do, I should try and do some of the jawline today, but seeing how I'm going to have to do all of this, this is going to be a real pain in itself. So. Oh. Probably helpful the strength wasn't so high. Adding here is not helping around here. So let's uh, mix it better, I think. No. That mixed it off. <laughs> oh no! Not what I want. Let's move back over to this one. Oh man. Total noob here, what I'm doing. As you can tell, I'm sure. Wish there's an easier way to uh, get this to kind of equalize, I guess you could say, because it just feels like it's just kind of hard with it. Like here, see, it's not going well, you could say. Hit normalize all, that's what it does, and it's kind of ugly. Let's see, and this should be lightened then. Right? No. Yeah, I'll add. Alright, it's getting a little better. Not as jagged <laughs> as it was. I was gonna say, I better have X-Mirror on between this the entire time without X-Mirror, I'd be like, oh my god! Normalize a little more. Oh, man. Oh god, no. Not what I mean to do. Um, maybe I don't want, uh... To see the bones while I do this. Let's take this, uh... Back to object mode real quick. Go here. I can select the bones from here.
Ooh. Wrong thing. Ah, uh, seems to both of them, Darken and Lighten, did the same thing. They subtract will push down. Add will push down. No matter which one you choose, it'll push down. Wonderful. Maybe I should just have it redo it real quick while I, uh, and I'll redo the face and such as I did before. So, let's do that. Let's grab this and reset it and go to pose, animation, no, not animation. Clear, transform, all. Alright. Go here. Delete that. Select this. Control P with automatic weights. See what these changes that I did here. If uh, looks a little better than what it was, then I can get to the face later and do uh, the ch thing I did. It'll probably create that issue again, so I can show you what it was. All right, loading time. <laughs> this takes a little while because of the. Uh, a big the mesh is. Which is kind of ironic and funny, because when you like lift up the armpit or something and move it around, you doesn't seem like it's as much wireframe as you would think, just because of the simple fact that when you start stretching the actual frame and whatnot, you start to actually notice uh, what it does. But this is all this is, is just learning and messing around with all this. <sighs> Wow, it's taking longer than it should. Come on. I watch it crashes on me. Be like, what is hell, Blender? Why? <laughs> you shouldn't do this to me. That's bad. Hey, it should be done. Go take a look. It's in pose mode. Yeah, it is. See, it looks like it's perfectly fine, but watch the back. Really? Now you're gonna make a liar out of me? You're seriously making a liar out of me? <laughs> I'll still not set properly. You can see the eyes and things are not moving fully with it, so I'll, I'll do that later. I'm here to check the arm. That's better than what it was. Maybe I should still move them in just a tiny bit more and redo that one more time because it shouldn't be stretching out down here. Um. Let's try to do some uh, quick mesh uh, cleanup on the weights there. If I'm able to just do it with that, sweet. Then we'll move on. If not, then I'll mess with that later and I'll just mess with the jawline like it's mainly what I want to kind of do here. Okay, topology and stuff is on, so...
Oh, come on. Let me go through. It's really crazy how big you actually kind of have to make this to get it to affect specific areas. It's kind of nuts. Alright, come on. Trust me doing this, I'm just messing up the whole thing, Lodge. Normalize all. Let's see how it looks now. Still kind of pulling out there. Which was the spot I didn't want it to really pull out on. Alright, that's a little better. Let's just do my new incremental changes to it till it's exactly how I want it. Better than it was. I'm not trying to make it perfect. And it definitely seems like I am with the way I'm doing it, but... I gotta be careful that it doesn't go through. I think that works good for now. I'm gonna leave it as such. Object mode. And I'm gonna start working on that jawline like I really mean to do. After I fix the face and I show you that crazy issue I was having before. I'm in pose mode, but I have everything selected. Come on, I wanna reset it. All right, clear pose. All right. The issue I was having. I have to select the head. Go to weight paint. Now you can see how the head looks like this. You should have most of it red and whatnot because you want it to, of course, move with the head bone so it moves back and forth properly. And, uh... Alright, and what I need to do is we're going to make most of this red then. So... So go to add. I'm gonna turn that strength up. So we're like gonna redify all of it. And because I have X mirror and topology mirror on, it'll show this issue I was having before. Hopefully. Unless it wants to make a liar out of me and be like, nope, I'm not gonna do it. And then I'll be just really annoyed and miffed and be like, okay, fine, be that way. But right here, I just I just made the entire nose red, and that's what'll cause the issue. So if I look down the back, you can see it right there. It turns this red too. 
And it's really weird. I don't know why it does that. It shouldn't be doing that. But it does. That should mostly be perfect. But I just want to make sure I get the uh, chin. Hey, Number Ninja, how's it going? Hope you're having a fun time. <laughs> Welcome to the Riaya uh, boring stream right now because of all the weight painting and everything going on. Okay, so if I do this and I rotate on R, it does that. See? Now, the only way to get rid of that, I found, is to take off topology and X mirror. And I, of course, then you subtract on it. And I get rid of that. Oh, what else did it touch? Oh, it didn't touch anything else. I'm just being paranoid. Yeah, see? This was freaking me out like half an hour before I started streaming. I was like, why is it doing this? It should not be doing that. Uh, all right, now if I rotate on X, it's back to where it should be. That should be good. I'm still going to have to do a little more down here for adding but that's it need to add it like so i'm gonna have to do this i'm gonna have to add back the topology mirror for the time being and then i'll fix that issue afterwards after i know my head is on straight you could say because we don't want that <laughs> I might have to change the neck one also to go properly. Like, I should be able to go here and just have to normalize, and it should have fixed it, but it didn't, as you can see. So I'm going to have to go here and uh, have it subtract from it. So that the neck starts to form in properly. There we go. That's better than what it was by a long shot. Still got that little bit there, but I'll fix that after. Let's have this. Well, no. We want some tracks still. So I notice with subtracting, you want to use actually a bigger brush and radius than anything else because uh, you want minute changes. You don't want these humongous changes. Other than right there. Why is that still so ugly? Let's take this out of uh, see through. All right, there we go. Get rid of that. All right. I think this is done. Look down, look up. And then uh, right and left. So I might want to change that so it's not affecting the right and left quite as much, I think. Didn't want to do that strong, so. Kinda like that? Let me save first in case I want to go back. Okay, let's rotate this. Not pulling on the neck as hard. Maybe should subtract all the way around. Let's take a look. Alright, let's normalize. Alright, now, I think I want to leave 
more of that there than what was there. I mean, when you stretch the neck, you do stretch a little bit. That's just weird that it pushes kind of in also is the problem, I'd say, for me. I could weaken it around here, maybe slightly. Um, wrong thing. Yeah, that's the wrong one, too. <laughs> Uh, lighten. I actually made it. Yeah, I went to darken. That's right. Not lighten. So it doesn't uh, pull quite as hard on it. Hair's a little bit in the way. That's what a see throughs for. <laughs> Alright, that will hopefully be fine. Now I'm gonna move into the neck after I reset the pose. This is really funny. Uh, in white paint, I didn't know you could actually modify at the same exact time, but I have the pose mode, but you can. And of course, then I gotta reset the whole thing. And that doesn't exactly work, so let's grab here. Let's check one more time. Alright, I think that's fine. Now, I have never done face rigging before, so. This is all brand new, this whole part I'm doing in any way. I mean, I've done some pose in general, but nothing major. Like doing the whole face. I might actually go in and separate. Oh, let's take that out of ortho. I might go in here and I might separate this whole section here inside her face so that I can, uh, work with it a little easier than what it's at. Why does it look off? Did it mess with it? Well, that uh, the pose should be perfectly back to where it normally is. I gotta move some things forward, I'm gonna move them forward, yeah. I guess if that's just the general lips, that's fine. So, we'll see as we go. <laughs> so the whole point of this is to mess around and see how it goes. Alright, let's take that out of pose mode and edit. We're going to need... A new bone here. Oh, it always makes him so big. Hold it in. Then... Mind you, in this part, I have no clue exactly what I'm doing, so... We're gonna... Separate this, I think, into three. Alright, that's not in. Pull back. It's a little too far over. Okay, I'm gonna do the uh, subdivide now. Let's make two cuts because I need to make this uh, or how I think would expect it to be for a jaw, anyway. Hell, I might actually have to make another one too, so. Grab here. Pull back. Pull that up and just get into kind of relative position. And subdivide again. Two more times. Ooh, this looks ugly. I gotta fix that. More like that, and then I gotta fix these two. Still a little off. These two have to go a little more in. 
Well, this one does anyway. Mind you, I'm flying blind here. I actually haven't looked this up or anything. So, <laughs> if anyone's watching it, they know better than I do. Please let me know. Uh, cause I'm doing this as just kind of like, okay, what would I expect it to be like for a jaw? All right, let's rename this. That's zero. We're gonna copy that. One dot L. Two dot L. Three dot L. This gets very monotonous. Four dot L. I actually messed up on the hand too when I was doing it. 5.l and 6.l I messed up on the hand, I don't know how but I think it was this bone, I actually named it dot .i <laughs> so when I told it to symmetrize it copied everything over but that bone and it was like, yeah that's not how it's supposed to go that's not how it's supposed to go at all right, you're I think you should be more over like so. That is still off then. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, made this one at all. It seems to be going a little weird with it so let's delete these two. We're going to extrude you. Come out over here. A little off from where I want you exactly. So I'm going to put you there. I'm going to grab this. We're going to... Forward, down, over slightly. Which one are you? You're four, so you're five. Alright. See if I can, uh... Get those all selected. I'm gonna symmetrize it. Symmetrize, and this should be labeled right. Okay. Now the problem is none of these have automatic weights to them, so... We're kind of doing this... Freehand. Oh, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be real fun. Right. Pose mode. No, not pose mode. I want you. Yeah, I wanted that in pose mode, actually, and go to weights. Huh. <laughs> this thing's like, I got nothing. I don't know what you want me to do. Alright, let's make sure that, yeah. You on nothing. Maybe she do automatic weights with it? So then it would have a baseline? I really don't know for this, so uh... Actually they're not even attached to anything either, so. Whoa, I messed something up. Cause I realized one bone's missing. So I gotta go back and fix that. That was an edit. No, I wasn't an edit. I'm on the wrong thing. I keep on selecting the wrong things. Select that. Edit mode. Why didn't you copy that? Because it wasn't labeled right. It's odd. I thought I labeled that. <laughs> One dot L. So I gotta delete these. Now I'm gonna re symmetrize. There we go. They're all there. Oh, okay. yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna be looking very confused, guys, just so you know. Because I'm not sure where I'm gonna proceed exactly from here. Uh, oh, wait. First, I need to do this. So that is Death Head. That means Define Head. And we need to parent it to that. We need to do it for both sides. So now if I go to pose mode and I say select this and I do this, it's all s together. So that's the first thing I needed to do. Now I need to go here. And go to weight paint. None of these are... I'm gonna have to... Oh, for each and every single one of them I have to do that? Alright, I'll give me a sec here. I might, or probably should have done is re-automatic weight painted, and I didn't. So that's my own kind of fault for it. But, you know, you live, you learn. <laughs> this site's like, <laughs> we already know what you want, so. Uh, it's also on symmetrize, that's why. Duh, of course, if I uh, dump one side, it's gonna dump the other side along with it. Hmm. Alright. Let's take away going through first. Well, that one pretty much is going to stay where it's at. The rest of these will be messing with the face, you could say. So let's do a little add. Just see what it does exactly. Oh, <laughs> not where I wanted. Oh my god. Let's subtract. Like you don't want that on the face like that. Not at all. Wow. See how it pulls at her face. But it doesn't do the inside is the thing. I'm gonna have to modify so it does the inside as well. If I say grab here, and I pull down on the face, you can see it's starting to pull on the face. It doesn't look horrible. Honestly, it doesn't look as bad as I was expecting it to be. And right here wasn't grabbed at all, so... Lighten not so much. I just want to lighten right there, literally. If I do that, oh, come on. And this is where it's going to be. You need to. Practice with it. I want this to be pretty much dead center. So when you pull one side, it pulls the other side right as well. And this isn't quite centered, so this is going to be off now. I mean, I should parent them together, probably. I should put another one in the middle here for them to be if to be parented with. I don't think I can think of. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I should have just uh, I put one more on both sides and they come together in the center.
Yeah, I probably do that. Um, just realized. Is there a way to change how the brush looks on here? Yeah, there is. Here we go. I need to be straight with it. I'm gonna have to start doing this for weight paint. I really am. Especially when I want to cut straight down at a spot. Like so. And if I do that, it grabs that one side instead, not both. Like, what if I wanted to do both, though? It's not letting me just... Well, if I hit G, it should. Yeah, so there you go. Okay. I actually think this is where I'm going to call it for right now. I'm happy with what I got here. I can see, like, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to wait paint that. I might do that before, uh, stream on, uh, Wednesday, obviously. But, for what I've done here, I think I've done alright. I hit G. <laughs> I would have about pulling them apart. Yeah. Alright, we'll see what I uh, come up with. Um, again, if I start messing with this, like for something real or whatnot, other than maybe the weight painting, I'll probably post it onto my YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's uh, youtube.com slash the Riaya. And if you're on YouTube watching this and you want to see me or catch me live, it's uh, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays at uh, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And I do, I do this, I mess around, I mean, I'm no expert <laughs> at this, so. If you aren't following and you liked what you saw here, please hit that follow button. And I hope you guys come back for more, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Have a good day. Bye.